anyway, you guys, I hate that the beauty community has got like this, a drama side. I mean, I guess it just kind of come, I don't know. Does it come with the territory? Does it have to come with the territory? I wish that it wouldn't. I, try, I don't really follow the drama. I try to, like if I hear about drama, it's like, uh, I'm just here for the makeup. I really don't want to hear about the drama, but this one was really hard to like, not know about um with the whole oh Michaela I'm so sorry I have no idea if she really did have false lashes on or not she says she didn't I I'm not quite sure so what I thought I would do I picked it up I had to pick it up because I want to just see for myself or I do like to create my own opinions about things I think maybe a lot of people hear it and then just run with it do your own research figure it out form your own opinion don't just run with the crowd so that's what i'm doing i'm not running with the crowd i'm going to form my own opinion i want to make the video about this so i don't want to do like a huge look but i do want to put some foundation on just i did i've never tried hard candy i, I well, like how have i been on this planet for this long and i've never tried hard candy so i picked up a concealer and a foundation a lip gloss and a highlighter just a few little things I'm just gonna throw just a few things on my face and then I also got this color corrector uh, you know it helps with my pinkness so um so let me just moisturize real quick because I always moisturize with this under my eyes and stuff before I do anything so just give me a second because I have bangs I'm gonna pull my hair back now I think in her video she does at least two coats, but I think like down in the comments, someone had said like, girl, are you wearing lashes? Like, you can tell me like, are you? I won't tell anybody, are you wearing lashes? She's like, no, I'm not wearing lashes. They said, she had said L'Oreal wouldn't allow it because I guess it was like a sponsored like thing. I've been moisturized, I've been primed. Hard Candy Glamifage Full Coverage Foundation, oil free. Okay, so let me just put a little bit of this on here. I don't even think that this would really even be necessary, the color corrector, because this is a full coverage. So I would, I don't typically have problems covering up my redness. All right, I just, I don't think I need very much. Wow, that kind of dried down very quickly. Like my hair, we're not, she ain't clean. She got a lot of dry shampoo in her. <laughs> like we got a lot of dry shampoo. I would call that more of like a medium coverage. I don't usually put um, foundation on my eyelids or like, you know, in my eye socket. I just kind of save that for a concealer. I get some redness down in my neck. So um, I always bring my foundation after I've done my face, then I just kind of bring it down, whatever's kind of like left. Just kind of hit that a little compared to this side, but it does cover really nice. But, um, I wouldn't call it a full coverage. You know, like I have combination to oily skin. Um, it just depends on the type of the year on what kind of skin I have. Like, yeah, I guess that would be kind of like standard with everyone, right? Like you have like drier skin in the winter. I feel like in the summertime, I don't even need moisturizer, especially like on my body. I always put moisturizer on my face, but it's like in the in the summertime, my body doesn't absorb moisture. Like if I get out of the shower and I put moisturizer on my legs, my body's like, what are you doing? What is this? Get it off. We don't want it. But in the, in the winter, like if I'm getting out of the shower, my skin just instantly starts screaming at me like, give us moisture now. But I also live in Minnesota, so it's um, it's a different beast up here in, in the winter. 
right now I'm impressed. It depends on, I'll put down in my description of the video on how well it weared. I am putting this on later in the day. Um, so it's probably only gonna be on my skin for about five or six hours. I will write in the, com in the description on um, how well it looked on my skin like six hours later. Uh, the Camouflage Pro Full Coverage Concealer. And I am doing the color 1970 Ivory. Oh, this has a weird smell to it. It has like a chemical smell. Not liking that. This, th she's thick. Holy crap. I wonder if I got too light of a co color. This might be too light for me. Mm. I don't like the concealer, I don't think. I'm a fan of the foundation. I think the foundation's only like $7. It seems a little dry. Yeah, this is definitely like way too light on me. Yes, I'm aware of it. Thank you. <laughs> I feel like it made me ghostly. I'm just gonna, we're gonna hit her with a, just a little bit of foundation just because we are just a little too light. And hopefully I just don't get, on, I don't get cakey here. Just cause I'm just a, it's a little too ghostly. Anyway, I'm just gonna set it really quick um, and then I'll be right back. I mean, I'm mainly here to do the mascara, so I don't want to put too much time into like what I'm doing. I, I'm just gonna do a little bit of tiny um, contour and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just did a little bit of contour. Like I said, I'm just trying to do this like really quick, um, but I'm going to try this peach, please. Now, I normally stay away from um, anything that's like too peach, too orange. If there's that orange, like orange on me does not look good. So when I see peach, anytime I've tried like a peach lipstick or a peach gloss or peach, and I put it on and it's just like, it does nothing for me. So it's like, bleh, don't like it. But when I was looking at like, okay, what products can I pick up from Hard Candy? And I was looking at their display. I saw that I was looking at their highlighters. Um, this is the, it just their highlighter. It says peach, please. anything it looked more pink to me and it's like I really kind of have to work hard to kind of get that to come up oh not kidding you guys it's nice like ooh shing yeah ooh look at her She's a shiny. I don't like to do too much on my cupid's bow. Like whatever is like left and even like maybe kind of shake some off and then just hit it just a little bit. Just because I am getting a little bit older. So I'm starting to get like those fine lines on my upper lip. And I know that highlighter is notorious for emphasizing any imperfections, any bumps or scars or pores or lines, wrinkles, anything. It just kind of, it highlights them. It does exactly what it's, the packaging says it will. Highlights them. But okay, you guys, let me do a little bit of like a, like a liner and then um, I'm gonna try my lip gloss that I picked up from Hard Candy. It is the Insta Pout, it's a plumping lip gloss. And the color I picked up is Sunkissed. I kind of want it to be about the lip gloss. So I'm doing very, something very nude. Maybelline Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner in the color 105 Nude Whisper. Feels nice. Ooh, I can smell that. It smells like a plumper, you know that smell. So I'm not a brow person, as you guys know, that's something that I want to learn how to do. So I'm just going to throw a little bit of something. To All right, let me just throw a little something right in here. So then like right before I started um, filming, I took like a Q-tip. And then I took a Q-tip and then even like one of these little thingies like super little and I was like taking the micellar water and really working um, like my lash line trying to make sure I had 
every little speck of eyeliner, eyeshadow, old mascara, everything is like off. There's nothing left on my lash line. I have, n there's nothing there. Just a little bit of like the concealer and some powder. So when I'm done with this, then we'll try the um, mascara. So now I'm gonna open this up. I'll get close. Okay, so I just kinda zoomed in just a little bit so then you guys can see um, doing this. Hopefully I don't chit chat too much. I'm gonna try my hardest to like not have to edit any of this out. Not that you guys, I mean, honestly, like I don't have a very big following right now. So you guys are gonna know. Oh wait, maybe I should have read the instructions to see what they recommend doing. Hold on. So there are instructions on it. Say to lift and load your lashes using the front hook bristles applying from root to tip. And then step two, they say to use the side hook comb to separate your lashes for added volume and length. It's nice packaging, feels nice. I love to smell stuff, whatever, right? Okay, I see what they mean. There's like a flat side and then you've got your brushes, and then on the ends, I guess it might be kind of hard to see, but it's pretty self-explanatory. So I'm gonna go for one coat on one lash. And then to use the side, they say, to kind of separate. Wow. <laughs> it does a lot of product on there I'm trying to see if I can get some of that off because that that's a lot of product but all right so I'm gonna hit the other eye I don't even think I would need to get more but I mean, do you guys want to, maybe I should move forward so you guys can see what it looks like. So this one just has the one coat. So we'll do the other side. I do not have lash extensions. I don't have anything like that. I don't, I have like your average small to average lashes, I would say. I don't have like amazing lashes. I should have took my contacts out because, oh, I'm always afraid I'm gonna poke myself and I don't wanna edit this. So you guys know I haven't done anything. Not that I would, I have nothing that would benefit me. Leaves a lot of product down there. Where normally when I do my mascara, like, cause I don't like things too clumpy. When I put it on, then I like to like follow with this to kind of separate and kind of remove some clumpiness. So right now, um, I'm just doing the upper lid, the upper lashes. So I've got one coat on each. I'm pretty impressed by it. Um, but then now let's go in and cause didn't she do, did she do it? How many coats did she say she did? at least two on the video, but then I remember, I think I remember someone 
maybe made a comment that um, she did more than two. Like she claimed that she, I don't know, like she did a couple more. So do we just like keep going to see how long we can get them? Mm. All right, let's see. I don't want to make them too crazy. Okay, so, I mean, it does. Okay, so maybe I need to show you guys. The... So this has got the two coats and this is one coat. So let me add another coat on this side. Let me dip just to make it fair here. You know, it dries like pretty nice. I couldn't even imagine like adding like three or four coats. I want to say that maybe somebody, maybe she had wrote in a comment or something saying that she did three or four. Those are, those are just some long lashes. I'm gonna put a little bit on the bottom. Just using that side comb. I don't know, what do you guys think? That's two coats. Do I dare try another coat? <laughs> they just seem so, they do seem really big. Like go ahead and like take your little screenshots and whatever, I don't know. <laughs> but I don't know, like you guys, it, I'd have to go back and like watch her video again because I thought it, it kind of looked like her, her lashes were kind of fluffy. Mine look very, and to each his own, everyone's lashes, they're, they're different, right? You're going to have a different outcome with everybody that wears this. So that's two lashes, no eyeliner, no lash extensions, no false lashes, no nothing. So I am, I'm going to try another coat. I'm just going to see what happens when I add a third coat, which I don't think I've ever put three coats of any mascara on my eyes, but, um, Let's just see what happens when I do coat number three. See, like, I feel like I'm starting to get more, um, like tarantula eyes because of all of the, the product, because they feel crunchy. So I would say it does add length, but I don't, I, mean, I can't get that fluffiness. Let me try and get close. You know what I mean? You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? I don't know. So anyway, you guys. So sorry, my bang, my hair is like it's it's grubby. It's it, we're a hot mess here. We're a hot mess. But anyway, um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Like, I'd have to go back and I'm, I want to. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna rewatch her video, kind of compare it to my lashes. It did add some length. Like my, like I feel like if I sit here. Like my eyelashes are almost like touching my, my, my skin, my eyelids. So, um, yeah. Actually, you know what? I remember doing a screenshot of it, of her eyes. And I kind of like zoomed in trying to like see for myself, like, did she?
That's what hers looked like. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think um, she was kind of fudging it? Do you think um, maybe a few people may have thought she was fudging it and then everyone else is just kind of running with it? Like, oh yeah, she was, but I don't know. I have no idea. So I looked at it. I, I couldn't really, I don't know. I would really love to hear your guys' opinion based on this. Does this product work? I would say it, it, it does what it claims. This is a good product. I would use this. However, um, how I normally like to wear my mascara is I put that on and then I go through and I just kind of clean it up so it doesn't get too clumpy. So I think, but just for the sake of the video, I just wanted to use it like this, like how they say. Um, but I think when I go to, I will try this again and I'll do it my way of when I put product on, <laughs> comb through it, use what's left on it, then I use it on my lower lash, do my other eye, go back and do a second coat, same thing. And then that's usually how I like to wear my mascara. Yeah, anyway, I think we'll wrap it up here. Um, thanks guys for being here. I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye.